we now discuss a new concept and that concept is known as entropy. Now the purpose of introducing this concept is to link it with spontaneity. Entropy, the symbol is S, okay, capital S. So what is entropy all about? First, let, let us understand that. Because if entropy is not the same, and I want to connect it with the spontaneity, this is the only thing that I want to do. So let us try to understand first of all what is entropy. Now, to make you understand what is entropy is all about, I need to explain it with the help of a small diagram. Where I am going to show the arrangement of particles with respect to each other in a given space. So that you get a very clear idea. So this is the first one. Okay, number one. You go into the second one, the second arrangement of particles with respect to each other in the available space. So this I give it as number two. And the last one is like this. And this is number three. All right. So now, my dear friends, have a look at this. Four, two, three. These are the three various arrangements of the particles with respect to each other in a given space. So from the diagram itself, okay, it is very clear that in case number one, the particles are the closest, and then they start going far away from each other as we go from one to two, and in the third case, it goes still far away from each other. So this interaction which is there amongst the particles can be related to the physical state as well. Okay, and that physical state is, I hope you know this very well, in case of a solid, the particles are very close to each other, then in case of a liquid, the particles slightly go away from each other, and in gas, they go very widely away from each other, and therefore, I will call this as solid, this will be liquid, and this will be gas. Okay, now, what do you mean by entropy that I'll tell you over here? The entropy is nothing but, it's the extent of randomness. Or we use some other words so that it becomes very easy to you, and that is chaos. Or we also use the another word that is disorder. So what is entropy? Is entropy is the extent of randomness. Kitne had tak system mein because this is all with respect to the system. So kitne had tak system mein randomness hai, chaos hai, disorder hai, saari chizi itar udar dikhi padi hui hai. So usse ham log kya bolte hai? Entropy ke naam se, uske maapdan se ham usse measure karte hai. So it is the measurement of the disorder in the system. Okay, that is what entropy is all about. So in this way, we can say that as I go from solid to liquid to gas, as you can see, the randomness in the system increases, the chaosness, the disorder is going to be increasing. So solid means everything order, gas means is disorder. Or is that say as I go from solid to liquid to gas, I say that the disorder increases, that is the capital S, that is I call it as entropy, will increase. And in case of solid, the entropy is going to be lowest, and in case of gas, the entropy is going to be highest. All right, so this is one point. So in this way, entropy can be related to physical state. Number two is it can also be related to the number of particles. So as we go from reactants to products, and we talk about the number of particles, I'll give you a very simple example, and that is okay in a classroom. Suppose if a teacher is teaching, and there are only ten students. And the second example is a teacher is teaching and the student number are going to be 120 in a classroom. So obviously, if I ask you a question that when there's going to be more randomness, when there's going to be more disorder, more chaos in the classroom, obviously the answer is 120 students. Because here the number of students is more. So if we go to this kind of reaction, when we go to the reactants and if the number of particles is increasing, then the chaos will increase, the disorder will increase, and the entropy will increase. Okay? So the number of particles is directly proportional to what? Entropy. Okay? If the number of particles is reduced, then the entropy will increase. So here we go to gas to liquid to solid, then the entropy will increase. 
Jenny, these are the two factors, physical strain as well as number of particles, which are related to entropy and on the basis of which entropy may increase or entropy may decrease. It is those two. Ya increase ho ya decrease ho. Entropy may change is to zarur ho raha hai. Or agar entropy may change ho raha hai, change. Ya tada, the change is nothing but given by a symbol of delta. Okay, and delta is also a symbol of state function. And therefore, we say that entropy is a state function. Okay, so entropy is what? A state function. Now, I'll give you some examples so it becomes very clear to you. And that is, if I take an example of calcium carbonate, decomposes to give you calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Calcium carbon is solid, calcium oxide is solid, this is gas. So solid getting converted into gas. Yeah, entropy increases. Increase hoga, it will be positive. So I say delta S is equal to positive. Okay. Next example is N2 plus H2 gives you NH3. Reaction ka balance karna zaruri hai. So this will be 2 NH3. This is gas, this is gas, and this is gas. Okay, and this will be 3 H2. So all of them are gases. A physical state ke basis with we cannot explain whether the entropy is going to increase or decrease. But then the number of particles, you can see the number of particles over here are 4. Yeah, the number of particles are 2. And therefore the number of particles decreases. And we say that the is going to be what? Negative. Alright. So this is the way we can find out whether the entropy is going to be positive or negative. Or in other words, there is a change in the entropy. Either we can consider on the basis of physical state or we can consider on the basis of number of particles. And these are the two factors on which entropy is based on. I hope you have understood this concept up to now. Now, we have to know what exactly entropy is. What are the two factors which are affecting entropy? Now, we go into the next concept and that is quantitative. concept of entropy. How quantitatively it can be considered. So we go for a formula. The formula is delta S is equal to Q by T. The formula where Q is the amount of heat absorbed. Now, friends, I absorb Q. Write it. Zayi si baat hai. Q ke pehle koi sign nahi hai. Or koi bhi sign nahi. Matlab wo positive hai. Okay, positive of the is absorbed. Okay, and the next one is T, and that is going to be temperature. And that temperature has to be in what? Kelvin. In thermodynamics, you know that very well. That the temperature is expressed in Kelvin. Okay, so Q will be say in kilojoules. Okay, and this is going to be in Kelvin. So kilojoules per mole per Kelvin. That can be the unit of delta S. Okay, now if you have a look at it, at this particular expression now. At constant temperature, the first relation which we can say is at constant temperature, we say delta S is directly proportional to Q. Then the jitna zyada heat absorbed kya system mein. So heat is a form of energy or us energy ke se particles now will go into a random state. Okay, so randomness badega, the disorder badega, the chaos badega, or is se entropy badega. Alright, and therefore we say that greater the amount of heat absorbed, greater will be the increase in the entropy. Delta S Delta matlab, it is change. Or delta ke pehle koi bhi sign nahi matlab, wo plus hai. Or plus hai matlab, kya hai? Wo increase hai. Ya, okay, so this is increase in entropy is directly proportional to Q at constant temperature. Abhi, aage at a constant value of Q. We say delta S is inversely proportional to temperature. Abhi yahan par bar zara garbar hota hai. Students are not able to exactly understand the meaning of this. Okay, they say the house where it is possible if the temperature increases. So the particles will move around in all random state. The randomness increases, the entropy should increase. Okay, so it has to be directly proportional. Why you have written it is indirectly proportional? I will explain you this why. The reason is my dear friends. Entropy and temperature are inversely proportional. Just go be a city, but me, I have a hot up each other. Because entropy or temperature inversely proportional, 
इंक्रीज इन एंट्रोपी इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टेंपरेचर ये पहली बात याद रखना ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज ओके सपोज इफ आई से 40 किलो जूल्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज अप्लाइड टू टू सिस्टम वन सिस्टम वेयर द टेंपरेचर इज से अराउंड 300 केल्विन and the other system where the temperature is going to be say around 2000 Kelvin ok and we are going to see the effect of the increase in the entropy by supplying this much amount of heat so see the temperature is 300 Kelvin so that means it is around say 27 degrees celsius so that means the particles are in a state of rest ok or state of rest means if there is so much energy then obviously what will happen from the state of rest it goes into the state of motion so it's a sudden change, okay? एक बैठा हुआ इंसान तुरंत ही चलने लगेगा तो obviously हम ऐसा बोलेंगे कि उसमें जो बदलाव हो रहा है वो काफी ज़्यादा हो रहा है। लेकिन यहाँ पे 2000 केल्विन है, so temperature is already high, और उस high temperature में the particles are already moving in random motion, so already entropy is high, और उसमें अगर 40 किलोजूल एनर्जी दिया, तो obviously entropy बढ़ेगा। लेकिन इतना ज्यादा नहीं बढ़ेगा जितना वो इधर बढ़ा है क्योंकि इधर जो है वो चेंज काफी ज्यादा हो रहा है इट्स अ सडन चेंज फ्रॉम रेस्ट टू मोशन यहां पर क्या हो रहा है मोशन में है पार्टिकल्स ऑलरेडी एनर्जी देंगे तो भी वो मोशन में आएंगे थोड़ा ज्यादा फर्क क्या होगा कि स्पीड ऑफ मोशन बढ़ेगा बस उतना ही और तो ज्यादा बड़ा चेंज नहीं होने वाला एंट्रोपी दोनों जगह बढ़ने वाला है लेकिन मैं यहां पर ये बताना चाहता हूं कि एंट्रोपी कहां पर ज्यादा बढ़ रहा है ओके ज्यादा कहां बढ़ रहा है जहां टेंपरेचर कम है क्योंकि वो सडन चेंज है ओके यहां पर जो हो रहा है वो ग्रेजुअल इंक्रीज है यहां पे सडन इंक्रीज है यानी यहां पर इंक्रीज ज्यादा होना है एज कंपेयर टू दिस यानी इंक्रीज इन एंट्रोपी इज गोइंग टू बी मोर वेयर द टेंपरेचर इज लेस एंड इंक्रीज इन एंट्रोपी इज गोइंग टू बी लेस वेयर द टेंपरेचर इज मोर समझ में आया आप लोगों को तो ये क्लियर हो रहा है आप लोगों को ओके दैट इज मोर where the temperature is going to be less and the increasing in the entropy is less okay where the temperature is going to be what high so therefore we say that the increase in entropy is inversely proportional to temperature so i hope the concept is very clear to all of you with respect to the quantitative relationship of entropy